The Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has decided to stop making daily U-turns on his own policies. But his solution to do that is to make one big U-turn on all his policies. The mother of all U-turns. Okay, this is another video that's going to make some Tory tribalist loyalists say, Oh my, are you still... Is smashing and slamming the Tories, stop going against the Tories. They are their government. I don't care if it's going to make you upset, if you're going to get offended. We have to stand up to authorities and we have to question the power that they have. This is really weird now. We've had all these U-turns, about five or six so far from Rishi Sunak, and he's completely undermining his own mandate. But then we have a new big U-turn, which is a U-turn on all the policies. And this is what we're dealing with now. This ready for Rishi thing, clearly he wasn't ready for Rishi himself because his own official spokeswoman has come out to say that the pledges that he made, that was a few months ago. I mean, it was literally like a couple of months ago, a few weeks ago, but okay. When the context was somewhat different. Um, what has changed? Literally, what has changed? The state of the economy is still the same. State of politics is still the same. Inflation is still basically the same rate, still going up. I'm not really sure what has changed to completely undermine your own pledge. Because this is really fascinating. If these people claim the whole of the political system is based on political parties and politicians winning support and winning elections based on their pledges and promises, and then we call that a mandate. That's their political mandate. And if you are literally saying that the mandate that you were given, even though nobody voted for you, <laughs> but the Tories, for example, the general Tories, the mandate, that the one that you had a couple of weeks ago, is you are already undermining it yourself. What do you expect from the electorate and the taxpayers? So, especially when it comes to general elections, when you have basically five years, around five years, from your last manifesto and your mandate, if you yourself change your mind, then you, you're going to have to do an election again. You're going to have to do another general election because the people say, well, you don't even believe your own pledges. Then, but you told us to have faith and trust you and to, to support you to do those policies. Now, look, let's go back to the, what they're actually saying because it gets worse. The, the spokesperson said, we are looking at all the campaign pledges and we are looking at whether it is the right time to take them forward. We need to take some time to make sure what is deliverable and what is possible, and engaging with stakeholders and with the relevant secretaries, secretaries, uh, secretaries of state as well. So, and someone might be like watching this right now thinking, oh, that's actually grown up politics. That's quite nice that they want to have to check to see if it's going to work. You do realize that was your job before you promised those pledges. That's literally your job as politicians, as experienced professional politicians who are living in the Westminster bubble. You have all the access to the civil servants and the advisors and the think tanks and the media and the stakeholders, everybody and the corporations and industries. You literally, your job is to go and check with them first to see if whatever idea that you have is deliverable, is actually workable. And then you put it in writing and then you go to the country and say guys I have a new idea it's costed it's fully costed and it's fully supported and this is why we have the experts to back it up and it's going to work and I'll explain why it's going to be delivered and that's because that's what we expect right now from Keir Starmer and the Labour Party as the opposition their job is to right now sit in their offices and their meeting rooms to start preparing their next manifesto and their job is to make sure that whatever they write is to an extent deliverable, right? Then, so that's what we expect from the opposition. What we expect from someone like Rishi Sunak, who was literally chancellor, who was literally in government, his team are connected to the government. They were already in power and they wrote things down and they decided to go out there and talk about it and say, guys, we have all these ideas. And then now that they've gone to power, now that they got the office, they sat down and said, oh, by the way, all those things that we said to the public, should we double check to see if we can actually do them? <laughs> Why? Why? I'm literally losing my patience here. But it's fine because the reason I'm still smiling is because every time we are seeing more chaos and um, 
and the more damages that they are causing. It's, it's, it's good because the more damages they do, they're, they're, they're doing it to themselves and they're making it easier for us to actually hold them to account. And when the time comes, they will be punished. When the election comes, all these incompetent hypocrites from all sides, red and blue, they will be punished. And you know, if the country makes the wrong decision, then they will correct themselves. That's how democracy works. Sometimes it will take some time. That's the problem. <laughs> Sometimes we have to wait a few years until the next election. But we have to be careful. We have to stay focused. That's why these channels exist. To make sure that we give you guys all the information for you to decide. You have to shape your own opinion. Don't even let me tell you what to think. But if you agree with this, then you could go around, tell your neighbors, tell your relatives and your friends. And that's how the word of mouth campaigns happen. We go out there to make sure when the next election comes, people vote and support people based on the knowledge and the information that they have. That's the reality and that's exactly why I do what I do. For those who wonder why I do this to myself every single day, <laughs> give myself a headache. Um, but uh, thank you so much for all the support. If you want to support the channel, feel free to get your own merchandise. You could get your own We Are The Media merchandise or the anti-globalist merchandise, Build Back Britain. You can find the link in the description. Amaya TCN, we are the media.